what I wanted to um, go through how I started out in my career, I get a lot of people ask me this. People think I have the best job in the world, which I actually do. I work on sets. I do hair and makeup with amazing people. I, go, I get to work with all kinds of creative people. But I'm going to tell you that in the beginning, it's not easy to get into the fashion industry, into the movie industry, uh, into doing videos and things like that. Everybody wants to be a makeup artist, and I get all my little 18, 19, 20 year old students that come in and um, think that they're going to be working for Vogue the day after they leave my class, and it just doesn't work like that. So I always tell them and recreate my story on how it happened to me. I just happened to be in college and wasn't really certain what I wanted to do, and I had moved, I had had the opportunity to move over to London and take a little bit of time off, and I came across a hair and makeup school called London School of Makeup, and I studied hair and I studied makeup for a year, and I studied all kinds of hair, cutting, coloring, uh, perming, uh, beauty makeup, fashion makeup, prosthetics, wig making, period makeup, uh, horror makeup. I literally learned everything in that year, and I think it was probably the best year of my life. We had so much fun every day just doing all kinds of things. Um, and But the problem was, once I left school, although we did do portfolio shoots in the school, uh, it wasn't the highest quality of photography and we had to bring our own models, so they looked very amateur. Um, I was lucky that when I got out of school, I had a friend who was a professional model and she helped me a lot because a lot of my friends got out of the classroom and they just had no idea what to do. Nobody tells you what to do when you get out. Um, that's why I think it's really important when I teach to guide, I do a section to show you what to do when you get out of the classroom and uh, how to promote your portfolio and your website and things like that. But I was lucky. I had a friend who was in the industry and she introduced me to someone else and I was doing testing for a new modeling agency every weekend with new girls that needed pictures for their book and I was able to build my portfolio pretty quickly and my contacts pretty quickly. So after five years in London, I moved to Chicago. I had a lot of friends in the Midwest. Um, there was a market there for fashion. It was a smaller market. And I lived there for three years where I just started to build my book again, get to know photographers, make the phone calls, go to the modeling agencies. And my first client ever was Playboy. That was the one client where I got the phone call in the morning just by fluke. Someone had gotten my name, the makeup artist didn't show up. And I, was, I got my first opportunity to work with a real client. And from there on, I worked with Playboy for 25 years. They were my long, probably my longest client I ever worked with. Um, and also working for them in Chicago enabled me to quit waitressing because I had to pay my rent, so I was waitressing at night. Um, it enabled me to save up enough money to move to New York because New York was very expensive. I moved to New York, I got an apartment, and I immediately just started contacting model agencies, Ford, Wilhelmina, um, Q Models, all the big ones that were there, and just saying that I'm a makeup artist, I'm looking to work on my book. You're not gonna make money in the beginning, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna get uh, introduced to photographers, you're gonna get introduced to producers, art directors, things like that, and you're giving your work for free. You're all coming together, it's a collaborate effort, it's called testing, and you're all working to build your portfolio. Then after um, you know numerous years of doing that, I started, I felt like I was ready to start going to get my first agent. Uh, if you don't know it, there are agencies out there that represent hair, makeup, and styling, as well as photographers, and then there are modeling agencies. And in, in bigger cities like New York, um, a lot of the times the creative divisions are completely separate agencies, but in smaller markets like maybe Miami or Chicago, they can usually be within the same agency. And that's really when you start to get introduced to the people that shoot the magazines and do the videos and the bigger people in the industry. Um, it does take time. If you find the right agent and you keep looking and you're professional, you're on time, you have a good attitude, you work hard, you keep your makeup kit, kit clean, you're pleasant to people, it will come. It can take a long time. Uh, but it will come and you will get that chance that's going to put you on the road, you know, hopefully to working in the fashion industry. Having said that, you also need to live in an area where there is a fashion industry. You're in the middle of somewhere, maybe like Idaho or something like that, which is a very small and you're in a small town, you may want to concentrate on maybe opening up a bridal business or something. So you have to be realistic about what you can achieve in the industry. But it can happen, and it will happen if you work really hard, you're courteous, and you have a great work ethic.